Hi guys, welcome to another product review. Today we're going to be looking at the NYX Technic S140 Photonics Gel Documentation System. Hi guys, Jamal again. Welcome to another review from Labreal. Today we're going to be looking at the NYX Technic S140 Photonics Gel Documentation System. So let's start by turning the instrument on. The S140 is a compact gel documentation system with user-friendly features, it's easy to operate and it has a very quick response. The imaging system consists of a scientific CCD camera, a motor-driven lens and a 595 nanometer filter. Um, there's also a UV white light transluminator. Following the design concept of a single independent benchtop workstation, the S140 does not require any external computer to operate. Um, the built-in LCD touchscreen allows for direct manipulation of image data. Let's take a look inside. So by opening the door of the instrument, we can take a look inside the dark room. Obviously, the dark room is designed to minimize the amount of light coming in. Um, this is achieved with these seals here. And also, actually, the entire build of the instrument complements this. Um, you can see the door is very sturdy here. The materials used are also very, they, they seem very robust. Um, we can see the transluminating table here. And we can also see the white light table just above here. The transluminator um, we can look at here in a little more detail. You can see it's mounted on a set of rollers. Um, the transluminator is obviously designed to allow for the excitation of multiple fluorescent dyes to occur at any given time. Um, there's also um, a UV light in here that will only turn on um, when the door is actually closed. This is to protect the user. Now, um, the manufacturer describes this as a smooth slide in motion. Now, although this will suffice um, in your day-to-day -day activity, um, if I can make a criticism, I'd say that the slide in motion doesn't seem as robust as the rest of the instrument. Um, it will it'll work perfectly fine for your day-to-day -day operation, like I mentioned, but it does seem to be the weakest mechanical part of the instrument itself. The white light table is actually located to the left of um, the instrument. It's actually mounted on hinges. You can see that will turn on when I lower it like this. Um, the white light table is um, designed to provide a bright service to visualize um, your gels and plates during operation. Um, when I slide it up again, you'll notice that it turns off. Now, if I was to make a criticism here, I'd probably say that the hinge is probably a little stiff um, for what it needs to be, but that's probably a lot better than it being too loose. If we were to take a look at the touchscreen um, display of the S140, we see that there's um, a large 8-inch VGA display here, full color. Um, we're actually in the pr um, preferences area of the OS here. Now you can see you can set your bit rates, you can save to either USB or you can save over the network via the LAN. Um, there's various formats of image you can save and you can also adjust your filters all along here. You will also be able to adjust your aperture, your zoom and your focus. Um, it, I should note that um, this is actually really quite responsive for a touchscreen um, system. Um, you can see I'm changing exposure here really quite easily. Um, you can also take a snapshot really quickly by pressing this button right here. So if we take a look at the image gallery, um, we can see images we've taken earlier. Now this image has had a negative applied to it. We can remove it just, just like that. We can also rotate the image. We can save the image to um, a USB or over the network. Um, there's also the ability to print. We can clear all our images or we can um, delete the file right there. Um, now let's take a look at the back of the instrument. Look at the back of the instrument. Um, we can see, firstly, it's really quite simple. Um, we've got our computer connections here. Um, the system is actually powered on the embedded Windows XP operating system, and this allows for network connectivity um, and two additional USB ports for connectivity to printers and other such peripheral devices. 
Um, when I first saw the location of these ports, I thought um, it's a little difficult to get to, might be a little out of the way. But then when I actually thought about it a little more, um, I thought if you're going to have a network connection or you're going to be connecting any peripheral devices, it probably makes sense that they're hardwired and you wouldn't be fiddling with that very often. If you require additional filters um, for this instrument, these of course are available. Um, there's also options for an additional printer that can be added. Um, and although the software within the instrument is actually very, very good, if you require further manipulation of your gel samples, there is software that is also available. In summary, um, the S140 um, is a small, easy to use, um, convenient gel documentation system that is probably um, suitable for many of your routine um, gel documentation applications. If you require any additional information, remember there is also um, full specifications on this instrument below. Um, Make sure you like us on Facebook and I hope to speak to you again soon.